hi guys so here is my new hair as you can see it is now green um i did actually record me doing this but my camera died like in the middle of it and i was just like fuck this because i wasn't like i didn't have time to charge the battery and like do everything so um i apologize because i know a couple of you did want to see but this is now what it looks like i'm pretty sure i probably missed a few patches um because i mean if you look here you can probably still see some of the blonde through it because i am not very good at doing my hair um but i thought i'd show you guys this and um you know when i looked in the mirror at first when when it was um on my hair i instantly thought of night elves from world of warcraft you know um and I'm just like, oh my god, I look like a night elf, like, except from like the eyes, because their eyes are all glowy and weird. But I mean, just the, just the hair. Like this color is a color of night elf hair. Even though my night elf has purple hair, but you can have green hair. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. It was just like I instantly felt my self esteem raising, and um, yeah, my lips are pretty bad at the moment. If you can. See well obviously you can see because oh my god ignore my nails it's staining from the dye i got dye all over my hands and it got all under my nails and it's gross um yeah my lips are really bad they split real bad um and i'm using i got this stuff today hoping this is gonna fix them so i've been applying this um as often as necessary it says it tastes gross though. I wish I got like a flavoured one because it's gross. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's going to help my lips because they're just so badly split. I don't know what caused it, but you know, it's been like this on and off for months now. So yeah, and I also picked up a new moisturising cream. I got this. Yeah, I've um, used it once so far. And yeah, I don't know what the results are yet because as you can see my face... I don't know if there's any dry skin currently, I don't think so, no. I get dry flaky skin so it's really bad and I'm on the hunt for a foundation because pretty much every foundation I've ever used just makes my skin flake off and it looks disgusting and um, yeah it just it just doesn't look good and it doesn't look right and my skin always flakes and I, ooh, I hate my hair, you know I just hate this natural hair. I'm about to straighten it, so don't you worry about that. I'm going out tomorrow. Well, the time now is 2:37 a.m., so technically it's already Thursday, and I'm going out later today. Then that means, so yeah, I'm going out to just into town with my mother. Just like pretty much, I just want to go just so I can like see my mum, spend time with her. Even though I'm seeing her on Friday because it's her birthday anyway, but I think I might give her a present to her today. Um, and I just want to have a look around and see if I can actually pick up a foundation that's good because I need one that's pink toned rather than yellow toned because yellow toned foundations make me look orange. So I know I'm definitely looking for a pink toned foundation. Um, I've spent a lot of money though. I think <laughs> this leads on to my next point is I think I have a problem. I cannot stop buying things. I don't know just because it's coming up to Christmas is the reason but I literally just can't stop buying things and it's like mostly for myself as well like obviously I've bought gifts but I keep buying stuff for myself. It's like little gifts to myself like early Christmas gifts to myself. It's so bad. Like I purchased this top actually. Well it's more like a dress than a top because it's like a really long top so I can pretty much just wear it as a dress. But um what else did I buy? I don't even, I mean the moisturiser thing and the lip balm don't count because they were just like comboed in with the grocery shopping which my dad paid for so that doesn't really matter. Um, but I've just been really spending a lot of money and I need to just calm it down a little bit because I've been going crazy and obviously I'm going to spend more money tomorrow so yikes Serena. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm hopefully going to be recording some more sit down videos soon. I'm gonna do my hair up all nice and stuff and everything. I've got like new makeup brushes coming, so you know, I'll have the tools, but you know, I need some decent ass makeup to actually put on because at the moment I usually don't wear anything on my face when I go out. I just go out and in this horrible skin. 
I'm just giving you a close up of my skin. So these are my imperfections, guys. This will turn into a little imperfection video. Oh, what is on my lip? Okay. So yeah, imperfections currently there and there. This is a spot on my chin. Um, this is to make you feel better about yourself because my skin's gross. I don't know what this is. My skin's gross, my fingernails are gross. <laughs> Everything's gross. Check my nose. Hey, it's my piercing. Hello, I've already got dry skin on. Ugh. Yeah, that's my nail varnish that I've been like taking off and it turned it like a retarded color because my fingernails are stained. Just ignore that, I'm not discussing it. It's not my fault. Um, let's look up my nose. <laughs> no, the next imperfection. My teeth! Oof, that is disgusting. Look, guys, this is probably my biggest insecurity, is this right here. Why is there no space? Why? Why is there no space for it? It's been like that for years, honestly. Um, and the dentist has always said that it's fine. So, yeah, my teeth are yellow. I need to get them whitened or something. Um, Yikes. So yeah, those are my imperfections, guys. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'll try to vlog later anyway, later on today, when I go out with my mother. I will try, and I will show you my purchases, obviously, that I get. So yes, guys, I will see you later on. Hey guys, so it's now one o'clock, and I'm just about to leave. My mum's waiting outside, so I'd probably get a, better get out there now. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to go grab a few things in town and yeah I mean I'm probably not gonna vlog while I'm in town because in most shops they play music and like I said I don't really want to get copyrighted and stuff but you know so I'll probably just vlog when I get back and show you the stuff that I got anyway but yeah see you guys in a bit okay so change of plan we decided to go somewhere else instead of to Basingstoke and I'm currently walking around by myself but with my sister but she's elsewhere right now and I'm just about to go into Primark so yeah, doing a little bit of shopping around here. All right guys, so I'm home again now and I'm apologizing right now because I wanted to vlog more while I was out. But as soon as I went into Primark, I started feeling really, really ill, really sick. I actually had to leave Primark because I'm like, I just feel too horrible in here because it was so hot in there and I'm just like, I cannot take this. So I didn't end up buying anything in Primark. So the only actual things I bought, which I'm gonna show you are from Superdrug. So yeah, um, I'm sorry that this had to happen but I just felt really sick in like pretty much every shop I went in. I only went in a few shops anyway and then we left but yeah and I got McDonald's on the way back. Um, I just felt really sick. I've just been feeling really sick lately. It really sucks. I'm having just constant nausea and it's just the worst when you think that you might be sick and you're like holy shit if I'm sick where am I going to be sick all this kind of stuff is like racing through your mind and it makes me kind of like panic a little bit too so yeah but anyway with the stuff that I bought I only bought a couple of things so I technically didn't really spend much money which is a very good thing let me say because oh wait and I also got something from um Lush but I don't know if my mum watches my videos or not so I don't really want to show you what it is because it's for my mum for Christmas so just in case she watches this by off chance then I'm just not gonna show it um but anyway the stuff that I did get was just some makeup stuff so ooh. first of all I got this um it's probably gonna be shit it costs like two pounds <laughs> it's a brow kit because I want to start doing my eyebrows properly. I did pluck them a little bit, but I think it's gonna take a little bit more plucking. You'd know the dry skin on my nose. It just happens every day. Um, I need to moisturize my face in a moment. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna see if this works at all once I've like shaped my eyebrows properly. And then I am trying and like fill them in and see if it actually does anything good. I mean, it might be just complete crap, but y you never know because sometimes like cheap makeup can actually be decent. It just really depends on just like it's just like luck basically if you manage to find it but I mean some people do like makeup channels talk about 
drugstore makeup and all that kind of stuff because obviously this is drugstore makeup but I did go into um, Debenhams which is it sells all different things if you're not from the UK these are UK stores by the way um, Debenhams sells things like you know it has a floor for like clothes and it has like homeware and it also has high-end makeup so things you know like Clinique is the one I went over to. They have like Clinique, Urban Decay, which I was tempted to get an Urban Decay palette but they're so goddamn expensive I'm like I'll wait till after Christmas for that. Um, benefits, uh, Bare Minerals, you know all that kind of stuff like Estee Lauder and Elizabeth Arden, all that kind of stuff they've got on the makeup floor. So I went over to Clinique to have a look at the foundation because I just felt like it and um, you know the woman tried like a few different ones on my face and there's actually two different ones on my face and um, my skin's just gone really dry again um, but I think my lips are still bad as well I just have dry skin everywhere it sucks dick but I mean on this side I have one type on that side I have another type and she gave me some free little sample pots of each one so I can try them at home and see if I like them because it's like I didn't really want to go all out and buy an expensive foundation if it's gonna be shit so um, I'm gonna try all over one of them all over my face and then the other one all over my face and just see what happens obviously I'll have to keep myself well moisturized anyway because I mean a lot of I mean a lot of foundations tend to just make my skin dry and flaky so I'm kind of feeling like they might make my skin dry and flaky but I will have to see I just need to find the perfect foundation for my skin and I don't want to like splash out it's not going to be good anyway so that was that back to the second item I got from Superdrug now because I've just got those pots from from there from Clinique, Clinique. If I can even pronounce it. It's so posh, isn't it? Clinique. <laughs> so next thing I got is a blush palette because, you know, I want to experiment a little bit with blush because I've never really ventured into sort of blush before. So I'm trying this pink one. It's all about pink. I've got all these pinks. I'm not sure if any of them are going to look good on me, but you know, you got to try, right? So yeah, they're very like inexpensive. So I don't really mind if they're shit because didn't really spend too much money I just want to like test them out try them out see if they're actually decent or not because I mean if they're like half decent you know I'm just like you know I could probably use this I mean some things can look better on camera than in real life obviously so if it looks like shit in real life but good on camera then I'll just take pictures and record videos with it um but I'm still waiting on my real techniques brushes to get here because I got like a big set of those so I'm still waiting for those to arrive and then I'll actually have something to apply a blush with so I hope they get here like by tomorrow because I gotta go out tomorrow night and I wanna look good so yeah that's pretty much just everything that I got it was a pretty small trip really didn't get much but yeah that's about it I guess I'm gonna end the vlog here now guys I might record a little bit of tomorrow but um this this vlog's gonna end here because I don't want it to be too long but yeah so my hair is looking pretty cool whoop <laughs> yeah this is my hair all straightened and everything now but anyway yes thanks guys for watching and I will see you in my next video